Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. Today we're in rural Tennessee for an actual artillery competition. And if you learn anything from this truck that's coming in behind me, this is pretty legit. There's dudes from all over the country that have actual cannons, and we're gonna learn about it today. I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna hit me. Anyway, I've got two high-speed cameras. We're gonna learn about cannons of all types. Let's get smarter every day. Okay, this is Matt Brothers, and this is your land, right? That's correct. And so those are your chickens over there? They, uh, it is. What, what do they think about this? Well, they're, they're uh, <laughs> hopefully won't get too alarmed, <laughs> but they, they'll hopefully be all right. So the question is, how does this happen? Like, you own this land, and you correct. just let people come from all over to shoot? Well, it, they yes, about uh, 10 years ago, a local roofer who has a cannon that lives around here, saw he came and roofed uh, my mother's house, saw the farm, saw the potential for being a wonderful place to cure safe to have an activity like this so he asked if we could do it and i reluctantly said yes we'll give it a try i found out that they're very professional they did a wonderful job organizing it keeping everything safe and just had a wonderful time and we've done it there ever since that's awesome so have you have you ever been scared about anything happening on your land or anything no like that? no i've been very comfortable again the first year i was a little skeptical because i had no clue what they were doing, but uh, once they uh, showed me what they were capable of and how they were able to manage it, no problem. That's no awesome. Problem. Well, thank you for thank you for doing this with your land. I appreciate you it. You bet, Dustin. That's awesome. The interesting thing about this shoot is there's two high-speed cameras, the V2511 that I normally use, ultra high-speed, but there's also the new camera, the V2640 that I borrowed from Vision Research. It has a higher resolution chip on it, a sensor, so we're gonna get a good trade-off between ultra high-speed and beautiful imagery. Another interesting thing is I get to explain those facts to people that are dressed like they're in the Civil War. Uh, yeah, guys, my name is Destin. We have uh, the new newest high-speed camera in the country here, actually. It's awesome. It's literally the best footage you can get right now. After a quick meeting about safety and a prayer, it was time to roll out the thunder. You know it's about to get real when you're unloading the cannon. Okay, here we go, this is awesome. Are you ready? Three, two, one, fire! I saw those This is nuts. I mean, this is like, this is stupid nuts. Oh, almost hit the blue drum. That's pretty close. Like all these old gray beard dudes, you got the young guys doing the work, got some high speed. It's pretty rad. <laughs> Look at all the unburnt powder. Right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> neat. Look at that.
Bottom left one again. <laughs> oh wow, I'm glad we were clear. I'm really glad we were cleared back because that went a long ways. That's like 20 feet. <laughs> These videos are amazing to me. There's a lot of mechanics going on that my brain really likes to hone in on. There's two things in particular I want to focus on with you. Number one, the gun carriage itself. That's the wooden structure, the wheels, and all that stuff around the gun. These are reproductions made by the Amish. But the people that originally designed these, I have to believe that they would love to watch slow motion of that gun carriage absorbing the recoil of the cannon itself. I mean, here we are in the modern world. We get to watch it just for fun. But back in the day, think about what the person that designed that would be thinking about as they watched this in slow motion. The second thing I want to look at specifically on this video are the shock waves. Now, a really easy way to see the shock wave is just observing the grass out in front of the barrel. If you look, you can see there's the spherical wave front that propagates over the ground, and you can see how the grass behaves out in front of the cannon. Another way to look at shockwaves is something called fast frame differencing. What you do is you take one layer of video and put another layer of video on top of it and then offset it by a frame or two. What you can do then is set up a blending mode called difference, which basically only shows you the pixels that are different from the one below it. It's a pretty interesting technique that people use all the time to detect motion, for example, in like a webcam or something like that. Anyway, if you use this fast frame differencing algorithm technique, whatever you want to call it, in this particular case, you can see the reflected shockwave bounce up off the ground. And what's neat to me is that that reflected shockwave doesn't exactly look spherical. You have to look very close. There's not a lot of pixels here showing you what's going on. But it almost looks like that reflected shockwave is an ellipse because it's kind of being influenced by all that expanding gas coming out of the cannon. So I was trying to work up the nerve to see if they would let me fire one myself. And then I saw this one and I was like, that's me. I have to ask. There it is. <laughs> Here we go, Stan. Three, two, one. That was awesome. It's not it's not as hard of a pull as I thought it would be. No, pull that's why everybody does this and they usually find a pocket it out. So you just rotate. That's all you need to do. Just twist it. That's awesome. Thank you for letting me do that. This stuff is interesting to observe and think about. I mean, there's a lot of dynamic things going on here. Uh, but at the end of the day, these were weapons of war, which is pretty intense to think about. For example, uh, listen to this gentleman explain a canister round to me. It's, it's pretty sobering. The easiest way I can describe it for this gun here, it looked like a 24 ounce beer can uh -huh. with a powder charge attached to the back of it. And you'd have about, about 30, 30 iron balls in it and they were all about about the size of a 20 meter 20 millimeter projectile 
Now the reason they used iron and not lead is because lead flattens out when it hits something solid like a breast right. plate or a spine or a hip. Right. Iron goes right through you, right through the man standing behind you in the rear rank, hits the ground 20 yards behind you, skips up and goes through the next wave coming gotcha. behind you. Gotcha. It was not uncommon. So it could go against formations. It was not uncommon that one round of canister could take out 40 guys with one shot. So Hunter is about to shoot a canister round, which is what? It's got 58 caliber balls. I don't know how many exactly. Packed in sawdust. Gotcha. So this is going to make a mess, and you're going to make a mess out of that hill right over there. That's what we're trying to. Okay. Right? Awesome. Sounds good. Fire! Canister rounds are not a joke. That is some serious stuff. What is funny though, is every time I caught a Civil War soldier using their cell phone, which I'll show you right after I eat. Yeah, that was as rad as it looks. Okay, that was the first video on Civil War cannons. I wanna do one on how to ignite them, that pull string, how that thing works, and also uh, there's a special one called a Whitworth. I wanna talk about that, but I wanna say thanks to the sponsor for this video, which is HelloFresh. Tonight is peppercorn steak night, which was my request. HelloFresh is a really cool service. They will send food directly to your house with a full-on recipe for how to make everything and the perfect amount of ingredients that you need. We are cooking more and we love it. Tonight we have a meal for two. That's kind of a nice thing, isn't that it? Is we, nice. we don't get that very often. So we're cooking and we're about to eat a meal together, which feels like date night, if I'm gonna be honest here. We don't get to do that very often. What happened? I started the potatoes. Oh, because... sweet. Oh man, that means we're doing the peppercorn thing. Yes. Yes. They send food directly to your house with perfect pre-measure ingredients, things you would never think to purchase, like truffle oil, like special mushrooms and stuff. It's really cool. You get to figure out how to cook this stuff by reading this cool recipe card. It's a step-by-step -step instruction. It's almost like replicating somebody's experiment in a lab. It's pretty simple stuff. The sauces are what really amaze me because I don't really know how to make them, but if you follow the recipe, you end up making a fancy sauce. It's really good. Anyway, to get a discount on HelloFresh and help smarter every day, Go to HelloFresh.com, use the promo code SMARTER60. That's 60 bucks off your first three meals. That's 20 bucks off the first three meals there for a total of 60 bucks. That helps smarter every day. You get tasty meals and you learn how to cook. Have a good one, bye. I totally like catching these reenactors with their cell phones because they get really embarrassed and they try to hide it and stuff. So is this the kind of field comms that they had in the Civil War? Yeah, right. I was just like, whoop, let me hide this cell <laughs> Go ahead. It's a little strange seeing you in your garb Holding up a cell phone camera, sir. Yeah, well, can't help it. <laughs> can't help That's the way it is. <laughs> Get us while we're still alive, man. I'm going. I'm going to be honest with you, sir. Like you got the period piece going on, and then you got this little lounge chair. Lounge chair. What's going on here? Well, this uh, is actually uh, an 1862 uh, uh, model. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when we're getting to the right spot. What, what'd you say? The assisted living bus well, dropped us off to tell us what to do. <laughs> it looks like you're on a cannon crew today, man. If this video earned your subscription, that's really cool. If not, that's also cool. I'm Destin. I hope you enjoyed this. Getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Bye.